Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjaga video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the ending of Ninjago Crystallized as an entirety and how it's not only the end for this specific season, it's also the end of this current Ninjago saga, which has been in play ever since 2011. I just want to reflect on that really quick. And as of the time of recording this video, the Ninjago Crystallized finale will be taking place tomorrow. So I figured this could be a pretty perfect time to go back through the entirety of Ninjago and just reflect on the entire saga coming to an end. Now keep in mind, Ninjago as a series is not ending. We still have content confirmed for 2023, but like I said, Ninjago Crystallized is the end of this current saga from 2011 all the way till now. And I've been a fan ever since the pilots back in 2011. I've said that in multiple videos. I've been here since day one. I was there when the ninja first got recruited by Master Wu. They got their weapons and their original ninja suits. I was there for that, and I've been here throughout every other adventure that these characters have had over the course of the last 10 plus years years. I will say though, I am very impressed with how far Ninjago has been able to go, and I'm glad that these characters are getting a fitting conclusion. No matter what that conclusion looks like, at least they're getting some type of conclusion. This saga is getting some type of conclusion, which is amazing to see personally. Most of the time, LEGO themes don't really get that luxury, but thankfully Ninjago does. Even though Ninjago is still not over just yet, everything that we've seen since 2011 will be coming to a conclusion tomorrow, and in a way, I am pretty scared, but at the same time, I'm still happy that we're getting some type of solid ending. Like I said though, I do find myself a little bit nervous going into the finale. I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing to these characters, what they're going to be doing to the Ninjago world after Crystallized wraps up, but I do have faith in all of the showrunners and everybody on the Ninjago staff. I think they have worked together to give us the best ending possible, no matter what that ends up being. As a day one Ninjago fan, I am very much looking forward to seeing how Ninjago Crystallized wraps up this current saga, while also leaving the door open for future events for 2023 and even beyond. I am very proud to see how far this series has come, and I am very proud to have been able to have been here since day one. That's a privilege that I hold very near and dear to my heart, and it's been a blast watching this Ninjago series evolve and grow as the years continue to pass. So to wrap up my thoughts here, I am very much looking forward to Crystallized Part 2. Even though I'm a little bit nervous, I am excited to see how Crystallized ends this saga, and again, how it opens the doors for the future. As a day one Ninjago fan, it's hard to believe that the end is near, but it's an ending that's been built up over the course of many years, so I hope it delivers. So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This may be my last upload before the finale actually does hit. Not really sure, but it is entirely possible. I do want to give a huge thank you to you guys for sticking with me throughout all of the Ninjago crystallized coverage that I've done up until this point. We've been doing a lot of videos on this season, and again, the ending is almost here. It's almost done, and all of that speculation will come to an end tomorrow. Huge thank you to all of you guys, and I hope you guys are looking forward to the finale as much as I am. Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.